uh, we have the, the ability to uh, really um, have a very rapidly the genetic information on all emerging viruses that uh, are infecting humans. So in few days, we can get all the genetic footprints of a virus. We can trace the origin of the virus to uh, uh, one given animal reservoirs. If you take, for example, coronaviruses uh, in the Middle East, you can rapidly uh, have the proof that this virus has originated in bats, but still, paradoxically, we lack the key information uh, in terms of classical epidemiology. Uh, and what I mean by classical epidemiology is whether these patients or these cases have been uh, uh, had contact with bats, which seems very uh, um, unlikely, or if they had contact with other animals that have uh, uh, played the role of intermediate host between the bats and uh, the humans. And uh, paradoxically, we do not have identified this intermediate host for the new coronavirus. This also has not been really easy to do for the H7N9 virus, the recent influenza that is infecting approximately 100 humans in, uh, in China. We have found very few animals and few chickens that were infected with this virus. And if we come back to H1N1 in 2009, we could really trace the origin of the virus with uh, um, uh, reassortments and the different genetic backgrounds of the virus to animal viruses. But still, we were unable to find the real origin of the virus uh, and the real origin of the swines that have transmitted the, the virus to humans. I don't think that new viruses are more dangerous today than they were uh, decades ago or 100 years ago. The fact is that first we have uh, new technologies that uh, um, allow us to detect and identify very rapidly uh, viruses that we were not able to detect a few decades ago. The second points we have developed, uh, thanks to organizations like WHO, for example, uh, surveillance methods and surveillance network that are very efficient to detect even small clusters of small outbreaks. Third, uh, the information is different today than it was uh, 25 or 35 years ago. If suddenly you have a small outbreak of three cases or five cases, uh, somewhere that is very unusual or very particular. It can be on the net uh, in few seconds and disseminated around the world. Uh, there is also the myth, the myths of uh, infectious disease that could kill the population and kill everyone in few weeks. Uh, and uh, the risk um, for health authorities to um, decide whether uh, this type of infection is dangerous or not dangerous, this type of infections needs to be taken care of, etc. It's, it's a very difficult game for health authority to decide if they have to do something or not. Last and not least, we, we have also to look back on the last 25 years, and we have many examples of viruses that manage to infect humans uh, and were totally uh, unknown in humans before. And the most, uh, 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 the, 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 the most important example is probably HIV. HIV was uh, unknown in humans 30 or 35 years ago and managed from animals to infect humans and to cause the most uh, important pandemic uh, uh, in humans during the last 25 years.